Incontinence is the involuntary loss of urine from the bladder. And although it is a highly underreported condition, it is a very treatable one. It affects both men and women, and it can be looked after. You do not have to live with it. While there are many kinds of incontinence, the most common one that we are dealing with is stress urinary incontinence and the overactive bladder, or urgency incontinence. With stress urinary incontinence, people leak a little bit of urine with a lot of activity, such as coughing and sneezing or physical activity. With the overactive bladder, women are, and men have the sudden urge to void and have to get to the bathroom frequently. This can be associated with or without spontaneous loss of urine. You can also have a combination of the two, which is called mixed incontinence. Both conditions are treated differently, and in conservative management of the overactive bladder, it is often involving a lot of lifestyle changes. Decreasing the amount of caffeine that you're drinking, monitoring the amount of fluids that you're drinking, putting your bladder on some time voiding, some bladder drills, and often resisting the urge to go to every washroom that you see. Stress urinary incontinence is also treated conservatively with Kegels, with a tampon intravaginally to support the anterior wall, with a device called a pessary, and eventually, if necessary, it can be treated surgically and it can be corrected effectively. Incontinence is dependent on how much it bothers people and how much it alters their lifestyle. I always say that incontinence is not life-threatening, but it can be life-altering. We need to treat it conservatively or however it would be best managed with each individual, but we must remember in treating it that we get the correct diagnosis because we have to be treating the correct condition with the correct management. So a correct diagnosis is the most important thing to treating incontinence effectively.